Hi, I'm Josh from Ingram Micro, and today I've got Ed with Microsoft, uh, and today we'll be uh, unboxing the brand new laptop SE. So it's something a little bit different this yeah. time, isn't it, yeah, Josh? Yeah, definitely. What makes this device so different from a lot of the other ones that we've spoken about in these videos? It is unlike anything Surface has done before. Um, and we'll talk about that when we start unboxing it. Uh, but I suppose we should then yes, yeah, let's, it. yeah, let's not stand so, on ceremony. Let's get straight into this. Up, so yeah. this is the Laptop SE. And like we said, this is something a bit different. This is something new for Microsoft. And once Josh has it successfully out of the there packaging, we there we go, you are a pro. I'm getting good at this there now. There we are. <laughs> So, so what is the focus of this device? Because instantly it looks very small. So it's, it's 11.1 inches uh, in screen size. Um, you know, it's just very similar to a Go size, mm -hmm. um, but it is still fairly big that it's got a full size keyboard on it. And who's it for? Uh, it's mainly, so this is just for education customers. Mm. Um, it's not for any commercial customers. This device is just purposely built for um, schools, uh, colleges, universities. Um, a low affordable uh, surface device. Excellent, and, and that's something which I think is really important now. I think um, especially over the last two years with all of COVID and the lockdowns, children being out of school, the uh, amount of digital assets that weren't available to all kids to be able to continue learning outside of the classroom or have uh, the tools in which to be able to um, attend lessons when mm -hmm. they're all being held remotely, being able to have an affordable device that can be put into the hands of pretty much all school, school children. And we are talking low cost, aren't we, with this device? Very low cost. It's around about the 200 pound mark to get one of these brand new Surface devices. Yeah, that's um, like Chromebook. Yeah, money, it's yeah. Chromebook territory. Um, and I think that's kind of where they're aiming it, especially with the operating system mm. that it is running. It's running a Windows 11 uh, SE. Right. Um, so it's purposely just built for schools. Um, and you do need a school uh, Microsoft license yeah. to, to get access to it. To, open it up. And the whole thing with uh, Windows 11 SE is that it's designed to almost be a slightly stripped back version mm -hmm. of Windows 11. The fact that the kids wouldn't be able to just go and install um, applications willy-nilly on their devices, that the school is in control at all times of the operating system of this device. And because it's optimized and a lot of things, a lot of commercial features that have been stripped back from this OS means that this gives it really good battery life as well. I think it's around 60 hours mm -hmm. yeah. of battery we can squeeze out of this device which again when you look at the size of it that's absolutely incredible 16 hours I mean a lot longer than a school day that's for sure yeah. so Josh um, on this device what ports do we have available to us yeah so we've got a USB uh, C yep. a headphone jack nope a power supply <laughs> <laughs> yeah the power uh, the headphone jack is here uh, yeah USB a uh, 3.0 USB-C and a power supply there. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a different power supply, isn't it? Because it's mm -hmm. the, um, on all other Surface devices, it was that proprietary slim connection, but they've gone with this kind of barrel style. But even saying that, the USB-C mm -hmm. can be used as power as well. So it if can. any schools have got uh, charging cradles or docks where docks, the devices yeah. go at night that are all USB-C, that can be used as well. So it does give a lot of flexibility to existing infrastructure that schools might already have on site. Yeah, exactly. Um, and USB-C could be used to dock it up to yep. multiple screens. Yep. Um, so, you know, if a uh, student wants to show their PowerPoint up mm. on a big screen, they can plug it in uh, and project it up. Um, so they definitely thought about every kind of possible aspect that a school kid could do use in, in a day for this mm. device. Uh, speaking of which, uh, they've got a webcam uh, fit to the front of yep. it. As you said earlier, um, you know, kids, you know, going into lockdowns and everything like that, they had to work remotely, yeah. do remote sessions. So uh, Microsoft have thought about that and put a, a really decent 720p uh, webcam on. That's it. the same as the, uh, the the laptop Go, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. Yeah, um, the exact same one there. So it is a really, you know, good camera um, for remote uh, learning mm. sessions. So let's talk about performance because again it's, it's a 200 pound device um, am I going to be using this for things like um, AutoCAD or Photoshop or rendering could I just buy this 200 pound device to do all those 
really intensive <laughs> tasks. No, unfortunately not. <laughs> it is just purposely built for, you know, those kind of education um, users where they won't be using kind of high-end processes like that. Um, you know, it comes in a two uh, variety specs. Uh, oh, it's the Celeron, it's, it's the Celeron, Intel Celeron, Celeron processor. processor. So it's a two, uh, two C as we yes, would the, say. For the, I think it's the Celeron 4020 and the 4120. So they're the two processor mm -hmm. options. And you've got a couple of different RAM options. Yeah, well, you've got they? a four gig and eight gig. Uh, and then on top of that as well, with when you're bumping it up, we have a two spec of the uh, memory on it. So it's, it's a 64, 64 gig and a 128 onto this device. So quite a lot of options really for yeah. this device, whether you just need something that's gonna be, again, fairly low spec, but again, hugely capable of doing the job. But again, something else which uh, can offer a little bit more power and performance. Obviously, this is not gonna replace things like the laptop studio or anything like that, but then, of course, it was never designed to as well. But one of the things about schools, and especially education generally, is that it's quite a hostile environment for electronics. Yeah. I mean, you know, kids, I'm sure many of you watching will probably kind of attest to kids, again, not always being the most careful with electronics. We're talking broken screens, we're talking drinks being <laughs> spilled on keyboards. I don't know who would do that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, but things are gonna happen, things yeah. are gonna get broken. I know there's accessories like ruggedized cases, etc. but what else around this device helps survive in that environment. Yeah, yeah, so it's one of the sur first ever Surface devices where it can be repaired by the end users themselves, so by the schools. They can actually buy in replacement uh, keyboards, screens, batteries to replace okay any kind of thing that a student may break uh, whilst using the device. So no sending it off no, back to yeah. the, their resellers or back to Microsoft, mm -hmm. it can all be done on site. Yeah, yeah, Fantastic. it's one of the first ones uh, that, that has done that. Um, speaking of which, another first for this kind of range is it's the first de Surface device that isn't touch screen. Um, so you cannot use panel on it, you cannot touch it. Um, but you know, with a school, mm. you know, they may not need that. And you mm. know, for a price point, you know, it, not many devices are touchscreen at that price point. Absolutely. Yeah. And so that's all absolutely fantastic for this device. I mean, the fact that it is repairable. I mean, mm -hmm. and the fact there is lots of flexibility in the specifications and the build quality as well. That's that's another thing yeah. that, to talk about. I mean, obviously a lot of other Surface devices, like we've got our Surface laptops. We've recently looked at the Surface uh, Laptop Studio. Mm -hmm. uh, they're all made of like, um, like aluminum alloys and stuff yeah. like that. This isn't that. It's more of a kind of a plastic polymer, yes. isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fully plastic. Like said it's not a uh, kind of metal chassis like most of the surface devices however it does still very much look premium it does. and color wise they've kind of nearly matched it to the laptop that you've yeah. got there the kind of classic platinum color that a surface is you know uh used to. Uh, it still does have the Windows logo uh, on the back as well, it's, uh, the Microsoft yeah. logo. It uh, still has that, that premium mm -hmm. look and feel. I mean, though it is, again, uh, a, a plastic polymer, even when you touch the device, because I knew it was going to be plastic before yeah. I saw it in the flesh, but I was actually really impressed that when I touched it inside you, I thought this actually feels really yeah, quite yeah, nice. It's, it's quite hefty, and I think purposely, I, I would say, it's about over a kilogram in weight. Um, mm. And it kind of feels very sturdy, so it doesn't feel like it, you know it's very cheaply made. No, not um, at all. It does still not feel very premium. Uh, all the finishes on it, I must say, they've done a really good job on it. So we've got good price, mm -hmm. we've got good build quality, we've got flexibility in specifications, and we've got on-site repairability. And adding to that, the ability to empower schools, educators, classrooms, children to be able to have digital online learning. I really yeah. think that's kind of ticking a lot of boxes for what educators and parents want mm -hmm. from, from schools when it comes to their kids' education. So yeah. I, I yeah. think this is, this is fantastic. A really good device, um, especially like you said, for schools to consider, for students to consider. Uh, I, I would definitely recommend the laptop SE. Yeah, and the fact that it's running uh, Windows as well. I mean, mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are already familiar with Windows applications, Office, uh, Microsoft 365, so yeah. you know having to learn different operating systems, different applications, having to look after a, a pool of resources within your infrastructure. Again, this would, from a management perspective from a school, 
it's just another Windows device. Yeah, and it's quite ideal for management as well because it can be all, all deployed via autopilot. Fantastic. Um, so, you know, no touch. You can hand a brand new box, uh, box to a student. They can open it up That's and really it'll be all downloaded really with their imagery um, to use uh, from day Fantastic. one. So, yeah, it's a really good device for, uh, you know, the school. Sim yeah, yeah. Sim simple, simple deployment, simple management. Mm -hmm. So, really, uh, not just for the, for the educators, the parents and the children, even the IT staff making their jobs easier easier as well yeah yeah brilliant it's perfect perfect device but if you do have any other questions on the brand new laptop se uh, please do contact the surface team at ingram micro uh, all of our details will be below um, and if you have any other questions or if you want to stay up to date um, on any further unboxing videos please uh, like subscribe to the channel and uh, we should have some coming very shortly cheers